Hi guys, welcome to this session in LibreOffice Calc. In this module, I want to show you how you can use the tick box and add conditional formatting to it. So first of all, I want to type three people, Steve, Dave, and Anne, and a title for column C, which will be status. Now I want to insert three checkboxes here, which is on the insert tab. Now. You click on insert go down to form controls over on the right up to the top checkbox click on it draw yourself a checkbox draw a second one and then draw a third one and then if you notice this toggle design is on if i take it off these tech check boxes, you can then just tick them and it will put a tick in. They're not lined up very well, but they are there. Now to get that back, if you go to tools and toggle that back on, what you can do, if I click on the first one, I'll just move that across with the arrow key just to line that up a little bit better to the left margin. The bottom two are, I think this is just uh, playing around a little bit. So once you've got them how you want them to be, you can right click, go into control properties, and then tell it where you want it to be linked to. So I want this to be linked to C2, it is in cell to C2. So basically what's gonna happen is if I put C2 in there, when I tick this tick, having knocked the um, design mode off, it will put the word true in that cell. Now, if I click on the next one, that wants to be C3, and the next one wants to be C4. C4. Now, if I just click that off, and toggle that off, and then tick, you can see it's putting the word true in each of those when you tick it. You take it off it says false once you've activated this so i'll put them back on now what i want to do in this column is basically do conditional formatting that's going to look at that word true if it's true this wants to be green if not red so over to condition go manage add a rule so the one i want is going to be a formula formula so in the formula line, you need to type what you want it to be. So basically, C2, so C2 equals true. If that's true, I want that to be green. I'll click OK to that. OK to that. So they've all gone green. Now, let me go back into there. So if I take that tick off, that's gone off. That's good. Keep it highlighted. Next one, manage. So this is going to be formula again, formula. So if C2 is equal to false, I want that to be red, bad. Okay to that, okay to that. So we've got false going red green going green so that's basically how i want it to be so you've got a checkbox or a tick box which puts the word true in there and the colors coloring up now i could have put the colors on here as well now if you don't want to see these words you can just change the font color to something that's going to disappear in terms of like white you might want to change it to white So I'll change the font color to white so you can't see it. So it's hiding now. So the tick just generates that color. And again, I could have done that on this cell. But that's all I want to talk about in this little video, how you can add a tick box and then get conditional formatting to look at the result of the tick, whether it's on or off. So hopefully that was of use. Thank you for your time. I'll catch you on the next one.